Hello and welcome uh, to the third video in a set of tutorials for Cubase, introducing the real basics that I think you really should know. Today I'm going to talk about controlling copying and pasting beyond using Control C and Control V. I'm assuming everybody knows how to use Control C and Control V. If you don't, you really should do Control C is copy, Control V is paste. It works perfectly well in Cubase. It's just a rather cumbersome way of doing things. Um, and of course, it works in just about every other software application too, not just music stuff. Right then, I need to zoom out a bit. Do you remember how to do that? Letter H. There's my shortcut, letter H. And then Shift, letter H. Da da. And you can, of course, use this if you want. I would suggest doing this. It's okay. It just uses the mouse and in terms of workflow, if you spend hours of your life on a computer like me, trust me, it's better doing it this way. And yes, these controls here do the same thing, but I would suggest using the shortcut. Now then, here's my amazing little loop I wrote before. So that's what's going on here. So I'm dealing with these pink parts here. Now then, the first easy one, Control D, duplicates whatever you have highlighted. So I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to go Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. So you could do it that way if you wanted to copy a part. Control Z undoes what I've just done. There we go. Now what about Control K? Let's click on here and try Control K. Hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. Repeat the events. Currently I'm on six, let's go to four. Okay, da da there are my four repeated events. Control Z. Now I'm gonna click on this last one again. Control K again. You might have noticed another tick box, shared copies. Now shared copies basically means when you repeat the event, everything you have repeated is shared in terms of editing. Whatever you change in one will change in the other, which has obvious helpful implications if you're being creative. So here are my shared copies. So this is the one I shared from, and these are the four I've just created. So those four and this one are now all linked. Whatever I change in one of them will be reflected in all the others. If I just zoom in again so you can see, so let's pick, well, let's go in the middle here. Let's open this one down in my editor here. Let's remove the final note, this one here. And if you watch, it'll disappear in all of them. So I'm gonna delete it now. There you go. Did you see that? It's deleted. So all those, what is it, five parts are now behaving as one in a kind of Borg kind of way. Control Z, there we go. There's my note back again that I deleted. So that's what we call shared copies. Um, now let me just zoom back in a little bit. Let me just remove all that stuff I've just done. And let's move on now to um, using the mouse. So if you just click on a part, can you see a little box there? If you drag that with your mouse, you get a copy. If you drag it and keep dragging, it'll keep doing copies until you release the mouse. Ta-da! So that's another useful thing, I think. Control Z will undo all the rubbish I've just done. And then I'm going to do another mousey one. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to type Alt while I click. So I'm holding down the Alt key. Now, notice the copy symbol. There we go. I can now copy, or should I say cut and paste. It's copying really, isn't it? Copying, copying, copying to wherever you want. Of course, you can copy to other parts. Sorry, to, you can copy to other channels if you want as well. Let's undo all that. And then... Let's then go to what I think is quite a fun one, quite a fun little uh, trick, which is really helpful. I'm going to just do a little bit of preparation here. I'm going to go to my glue. I'm going to glue those two together. Um, I'm now going to use the right click to find the drawing tool, and I'm going to extend this part to there. I'm then going to glue it together. You'll see why in just a second. Now then, let me zoom in again to show you what's really going on here. Um, like that. Now then, here's the slightly fun one that's good for the creative types. Um, this is another way to copy or to move events, um, but this time you have complete freedom to move them wherever you want 
irrelevant of your quantize and things like that. Are you ready? Control, Alt, click. Control, Alt, and click. Now watch the parts. Ooh, I can move them wherever I want. So you can have some fun offsetting, making little echoes, all that kind of stuff, if you're in the mood to be creative. Right then, that's it from me for today. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye-bye. <laughs>